A quick word before we start, guys. I wanted to start out a new format for these videos. And basically, what I was thinking is that instead of putting out a video a day of the playthrough, I was thinking about recording the entire playthrough all the way through and then uploading all of it at once. So that way, while the wait between uploads would be pretty long, hiatuses would pretty much be technically non-existent because after every playthrough there's going to be a hiatus. But on the upside, you guys will have the entire thing to binge and watch whenever you want instead of having to wait all the time. Just consider it like a Netflix thing. You know how Netflix puts out uh, entire seasons of, uh, of whatever you call it, shows. Anyway, so let me know what you guys think. I put a poll up on Twitter, so if you want to go put your uh, opinion there on Twitter, uh, feel free to do it. Um, yeah, just uh, to give you a taste, I'm planning on doing this with Kingdom Hearts Key back cover and also with uh, Kingdom Hearts Birth by, Sleep, Birth by Sleep 0.2, A Fragmentary Passage. So that way, uh, you know, th th neither of them are going to be too long, I'm pretty sure. So... It'll be just a, an interesting taste uh, for you guys to find out for sure if you like it. But again, if you really want to know, uh, put out your opinion, go to my Twitter poll and just put it put it out there. Anyway, without further ado, let us begin. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. George64 here, aka the Hypocritical Gamer, bringing you the next episode of... Kingdom Hearts key back cover. And here we are. Look at them. Look at those four tellers. I see uh, Ira, Ased, Gula, Ava, and Envy. There they are. Don't they look good? Which, uh, which, uh, what, whatchamacallit thing did you guys join? The union. Which union did you guys join? I joined, uh, I, I actually had two different pro profiles. First, I joined Unicornus. And then I joined Volpes, because that's where all the cool kids were, so, and also that was where my group of friends were, so I, I joined their, uh, I joined their party. Anyway, so, along with playing Unchained Key slash Union Cross, I only played up to Mission 200. I've watched all of the, uh, uh, the cutscenes for Kingdom Hearts Key, the PC, the Japanese PC game. Uh, I, obviously they were translated, I watched them on YouTube, and then, uh, at the end of the playlist, there were some Union Cross cutscenes? I hope I was supposed to watch those two, cause I did. I watched them. And they blew my goddamn mind, guys. They blew my mind! I'm not gonna... say too much, just in case you guys haven't seen them, but... I mean, I I'll talk about them in detail at the end of this video. Uh, this video. At the end of this uh, watch through, but uh, I'll just say one word, guys. Lariam. Okay, so those of you who know what that is, you know what that is. Anyway, mind is just blown. But, you know, we're, we're not here to talk about Unchained Key, Union Cross, or the PC Key. We're here to talk about Back Cover. What are the foretellers doing while Scald, FMR, and the player are doing their thing? Let's find out. Yes, the sub. No, wait. You know what? Yeah, let's have the subtitles on. Okay, so I forgot to actually mention this part. I have actually already seen the first 30 minutes of this because I tried to record this before and it didn't goddamn work. Well, I mean, it worked. I recorded the 30 minutes of uh, of game of gameplay of of the capture, but six minutes in, my audio stopped. It hasn't done that, you know from episode 23 all the way to the end of Dream Drop Distance, so it kind of made me upset that I had to restart this thing. Anyway, we're restarting from ground zero, but I will, I know the first 30 minutes of things, but because I know the first 30 minutes of things, I'll have more things to say about the things that I'm gonna be watching for a second time. Anyway, so here we, oh, that's right, this part. I'm not even going to try. I'm just fucking not. This is ridiculous. How do they expect me to... Why? What is the point of this? Anyway, I guess while this is going, I can talk about uh, other things. Like, so basically, from uh, what I've... Uh, uh, instead of talking about what's going on here, I'll talk about more stuff with Unchained Key. Uh, 
uh, what, what I find, uh, you know, kind of interesting and confusing as well is the fact that all these Disney worlds that you go to in uh, Key is, you know, we experience stories that we experience in other games, but yet this is supposed to be back in the past before the Keyblade War started, like leading up to the Keyblade War. And so it's just super confusing. Yeah, you know, and there's Donald and Goofy, and look, here's the beast, and after this fight, uh, while I haven't actually gotten to this portion of the story in uh, Unchained Key, you know, it just it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. How are, how are all these things going on with the Disney worlds when it's supposed to be in the past? Like, is each world, like, sort of on a loop? But we know that's not true because Sora's revisited worlds, and, you know, we've seen Ventus, Terra, and Aqua in other worlds, and they have their own timelines, so that's not the case. And I know a portion of Unchained Key is actually a dream, but not the Disney-visited portions. Um, you know, it just pretty much the portions after the player refused to become a dandelion. All that part, all that portion was a dream, which I am not happy about, by the way. I don't really understand that. Unchained Key doesn't re leaves more questions than it answers. Uh, including Union Cross and all of that stuff. Just so many questions. So many. Yeah, this part. This part was apparently uh, a dream right here. But, uh, I mean, technically it also happened because that in the Union Cross cutscenes, there were the five leader dandelions got together. And, oh, it was, it's so confusing. If you guys can help explain this to me, I will very much appreciate it. All right, and here we are. Let us begin. Here in Div the case of Lushu, which until I watched this before, I pronounced it Luxu. Does that mean the light we collect in Unchained Key is called Lush and not Lux? So that makes you the indisposable number seven. And then there's this guy. Come on, it's simple. You six plus me is seven. Uh, wait, don't tell me I don't count. No. See, uh, um, the thing about the master here is that he reminds me so much of like a combination of Zigbar and Axel. And I know he's evil. He has yeah, to be. It. I mean, the way he talks, but just his way In of talking. The master's playful and mischievous way. Yeah, he, he might just be he playful and mischievous, but I'm pretty sure he's an asshole. I mean, I'm de I know he's an asshole, but I'm pretty sure he's like an evil that asshole. Seemed like a simple task. But was the element that would connect all of the events to come. Shut up, Chirithi. I actually uh, don't know for a fact that that's Chirithi speaking. Long, long ago. But I'm pretty sure it's Chirithi. I'm 99% you know, sure. One day, this would be called the Age of Fairy Tales. Awesome. It all began here in Daybreak Town. I really the think it's interesting that had an eye. apparently Dream Eaters can go into the physical into the world because Chirithi is a Dream Eater. He bestowed upon five of his six apprentices a copy of the Book of Prophecies, in which was written the events to come. Yep. I'm not a fan of the voiceover stuff, but... Uh, it doesn't happen too much, but still a little too much more than I would. Like, if it was just that, it wouldn't be that bad, but there's gonna be more. I know there's gonna be more. And there's Ira! The Case of Ira! So, did you look through the book? He sure yes. did. But I'm still analyzing it. Wow, no quick skim for you, huh? I just prefer to be thorough. Master, is what it says in the last passage true? It oh, might yeah, be. That. Bummer, huh? I mean, he yes. could just be lying. By the way, maybe he wants to start the Keyblade War. If one disappear, I'm counting on you to keep the others calm. Okay? Huh? Disappear? Vanish? Dim? They? I don't know how to explain it. It's just hypothetical talk. Okay. Hypothetically speaking, why would you say that then? This world is full of light. <laughs> It's a world comprised of many smaller worlds. Yeah, wasn't it supposed to be one big world and not a bunch of smaller worlds yet? But 
You know, and then One the Keyblade War was supposed to... This vast land. I'm sorry, I'm ha I have to inter inter interrupt you, Master, but uh, wasn't it the world supposed to be just one big world? Then the Keyblade War, the war for light that caused the darkness to spread, happened, and then, and then, um, all the little worlds came up because, um, like, the hearts of children, or later the hearts of the dandelions, is what I'm assuming is what it is, um, sprouted and sort of reconstructed the world to be a bunch of smaller worlds? That's what I, that's Kyrie's grandma's story. It's in the, when you boot up Unchained Key for the first time, that's what plays. Anyway. All worlds share one light, one fate. I take it you're talking about Kingdom Hearts. No. Nope. Yep. Kingdom right of Hearts. Money. People believe that the light that is I Kingdom think you mean Hearts money with a U. here forever. But if it were to disappear, the world would be enveloped in darkness. I understand. And that is why you granted us these Keyblades. With these, we can spread the teachings of light. And we can protect Kingdom Hearts from darkness. No, they're not for protecting Kingdom Hearts. Huh? The final passage reads, On that fated land, a great war shall transpire. Darkness will prevail and the light expire. Isn't it our duty as Keyblade wielders to prevent this war from taking place? Not, not possible. What? You really think you can change the future? Then, what do you want us to do? We have to focus on what comes after. There's no use thinking of ways to change events that we know are gonna happen. But what about all of those who are here now? And the ones who will be here when the darkness finally comes. Are we to abandon all of them? <laughs> Come on, are you telling me that you think the world can be saved by just seven people? We have to at least try. With enough Keyblade wielders, we could- Well, if you want to give it a shot. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> giving right. it a shot Good totally luck. won't cause the great calamity to happen. Hey, yep. Here we go! Explain and to me so who all the they are, what their roles are, and who what masks the mask they have. Of the unicorn was given for some his reason. Role to take over for the master and to lead the others. Similarly, the virtuous Envy, who wore the mask of the snake, was given her role to watch over the others with a fair eye. The fearless Ased, who wore the mask of the bear, was given his role to support their brand new leader, Ira. The prudent Ava, who wore the mask of the fox, was given her role to prepare exceptional Keyblade wielders for the world after. The cool-headed Gula, who wore the mask of the leopard, was given his role to uncover the mystery of the Book of Prophecies. Way to go, asshole. That didn't work out, did it? Lu Xu, the first of the apprentices to be given their role, watched his companions from afar as they learned what it was that they were meant to do. Then, he disappeared. What is that suitcase? What is in it? Not long after There's that, the master. The master vanished, dimmed, and faded without a trace. This is the only Kingdom Hearts game slash movie that doesn't have a musical opening. I mean, technically Dream Drop Distance didn't either, but I mean, it did in, before the title sequence. This hey, is player. Your story That's not the player, began. but the story of not my player anyway. Adventure. See, that's just Pride weird. Why would it talk about your story, the player's story, if this is going to be prophecies. focusing on the foretellers? They it's each just kind of weird. created a union. This would fulfill his wishes. I just can't trust the master. Then they you set can't. out to rally Keyblade wielders just like you. By defeating Heartless, the monsters of darkness, they would gather light. Kingdom Hearts Key. Oh, thank you for the brackets, by the way. I don't think I noticed that last time. <laughs> um. God, it just... 
You know Keen Mark 3 is going to have all the answers. Oh, no, okay, not all the answers. Yeah, great job also for doing that. Are you certain? No. What proof do you have? I found this sniffing around. Is that a dark charity? Uh, is that a nightmare? <laughs> Yep, flashback once again. Dum -ba -dum -bum -bum, dream eater theme. <laughs> da -da 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 Master, did you make this? Bum -bum -ba -da -bum. Well, things I are going to get pretty hectic around here soon. Na, but na, this na, spirit na. cheerithy is going to make your lives much easier. Well, hopefully. Spirit? You could say they're like cats or dogs. And they'll be your loyal pets. Every wielder will have one of these adorable little guys at their side. They're here to help, so play nice. Okay. Oh, right. Before I forget... But what are they for? If a wielder is overcome by malice, or rather, if their heart is tainted by darkness, their adorable little spirit will turn dark and become a nightmare. So you're telling us that if we see a nightmare... Someone has fallen into darkness. Exactly. And if you don't stop this renegade spirit, it'll plant darkness in the hearts of others. And you'll have an army of nightmares on your hands. Beware. So, if we see one of these nightmares anywhere, we have to get rid of it on the spot. No! I won't let you do that! <laughs> no wonder you ended up as the bear. You're scary. Your point? Maybe you can growl at them. Where is Lushu in all of this? Why isn't he with Don't all insult of them me. Come on, I said. You won't know if it works unless you try. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me you're joking. <laughs> yeah, they're laughing it's because not they're me. not joking. There's an easy way to solve this. If we all summon our spirits, then we'll know. Unfortunately, there are countless wielders in our unions. It would be easy for any of us to summon a Chirithi that isn't a nightmare. I'm afraid that your suggestion wouldn't help us get to the bottom of this. Man, yeah, Era really case, just didn't think this who's through. Who's to say that the nightmare you saw belongs to one of us? It could belong to anyone in our unions. That's highly unlikely. Do you recall the tool the wielders were given in order to make them stronger? We generally don't concern ourselves with what they have at their disposal. However, I believe those tools were the nightmare's doing. The bangles. Why do you believe that? I know when they're equipped, they have the power to collect dark energy. But I thought we all agreed that was okay. Collecting is fine. But using that power is the equivalent of using the power of darkness. Why is collecting it okay? It's a brilliant plan. Everyone knows that all spirits look the same, and wielders exist in spades. There's no way to tell. Oh no. Everyone's already equipped their bangles. So what now? How do we find out who's behind this? Seeing as Maybe those bangles Lushu. couldn't have been acquired by just anyone, I He's believe be it's one of us guys. here in this room. No, Ira. I respectfully unless disagree. you guys don't, unless you guys don't what know, do we have that the uh, what Lucius' role is, of darkness, or if a nightmare is to blame, we shouldn't simply jump to conclusions. Yeah. Ira, some leader you are, you've managed to plant seeds of doubt in all of us with that speech. What did you expect the traitor to give themselves up with that accusation of yours? <laughs> that was foolish. I said. That's quite enough. Yeah, I've got to agree it with looks a set. To me like the <laughs> master didn't made think the it wrong through. choice. Wait, where do you think you're going? I think we're done here. I trust you'll keep us all updated. I need to know why I they hope, trust the master so much. I hope we can all resolve this soon. I need to know the master's story. I need to know. I need to know who Lushu is. 
That didn't go as expected. What's wrong, Ira? What did you expect to happen? This isn't like you. A lost Yeah, it's page. almost like you're hiding something. Something's missing from our book of prophecies. Could have brought that Each up. Each of our copies were said to contain the events of the future. But this incident, well, it's nowhere to be found. And how does this whole thing with the traitor tie together? Like I said, it's nowhere to be found. <sighs> in my book. Ira, are you implying that someone is in possession of the missing page? And the person with the complete book is the traitor? There is something going on, and a page is suspiciously missing from the book. It's not so far-fetched to assume that the one who has the lost page has been turned. That they have fallen into the hands of darkness. Trust me. There seems to be See? no record of it in my book either. You may be on to something. In trying to prevent wonder, this war from this happening... the master's plan all along? Yes! To grant the lost <laughs> page to only one of us. I th he no wants to divide no you. He wants to split you apart. He wants to. He's Master like Xehanort. He wants to. He wants to keep the war to happen. He wants to summon Kingdom Hearts and I find out the mysteries of the true light. Others. I will keep you informed, as always. Thanks. Of course. After all, that is what the Master asked of me. And Ira, may your heart be your guiding key. Yep. Follow your heart. They totally won't lead you astray. Case of Envy. So the one who's going to be after Envy. I'll need you to observe the others. Easy breezy. Uh, all right. Hmm. Like I said, Ira may have to take over for me. But don't be shy. Just be fair. Then do not be afraid to speak up. Even though I say observe, you'll need to be the mediator. Make sure people get along. I understand. Yeah, she doesn't do a good job either. So far, people but are kind of failing at what they're supposed to do. Without you or Lushu, to form and maintain our own unions is... It's a little unnerving, to be honest. Oh, come on! Lighten up a little. Maybe I'll never disappear. Wait. Oh, Do this guy. Want me to go? What? N no, of course not. <laughs> I was just kidding. I saw his chin oh. and his lips. Those are some succulent lips. Look, I get that change can be hard for everyone, but things need to keep moving forward. And you need to keep up. Otherwise, you'll just get left behind all alone. Now that you know what the future holds, Indy. What does your heart say? <laughs> May your heart be your guiding key. I say it all the time. You ultimately need to do what your heart feels is right. Ta-da! Right. <laughs> That's what it looked like his hand movements were doing. A few days I later. Wrong about Ira. I thought he would make a great leader, but he let me down. You need well, to pull Ira aside and have a one-on-one -on -one with him, what not Ira talk said, behind his back. You? Of course not. His argument was unconvincing. It's like Envy said. He's just making baseless assumptions given the situation. There's no evidence to tie his accusations to anyone, let alone one of us. <sighs> Maybe there's something he hasn't told us. And he needs to tell us. How dare he look at us with suspicion? We're his comrades. I wouldn't call Again, a said actually makes good points. Anyway, could you get to the point? I know you didn't call us here just to complain. I want the three of us to form an alliance. But alliances are forbidden, I said. I knew it. I had a feeling it would come to this. So, we join forces then confront Ira? Confronting him is pointless. Hero won't change his mind. I know there's darkness at work. There's no question. But
but I don't believe for a second there's a traitor among us. Unfortunately, Ira doesn't share the same belief. He's just wasting time trying to figure out who the traitor is. The darkness won't wait, and neither should we. We need to band together now and find a way to fight it. <sighs> Guess it makes sense. I agree that we need to do something to fight the darkness. But combining our unions? That was strictly forbidden by the Master. He's no longer here. I'm in. But let's be clear. The Alliance is just between the two of us right now. I don't want my Union members involved. Gula! Oh. I want... I want to follow the Master's teachings. Understood. The Master's teachings That's your choice were to, to make. You should do whatever you feel Pick up the pieces right. after the war. Yeah. And that's what his teachings were. By the way, Asen. And Ava is the only one who Ira does that. I haven't Once talked to she Ira forms the Dandelions. For obvious reasons, but I did ask Envy to join us. You wanted to see me? What Ava. timing? Ava, what are you doing here? What's the meaning of this? Hear me out, Envy. I want an alliance among our unions. Gula here has already agreed. Will you join us, and together we and can- And disobey the Master's teachings? We don't have a choice! Darkness I said, is hear approaching, me out. and we need to combine our strength to stand against it. The Master bestowed each of us with a different role, and he specifically told us to keep our union separate, to maintain the balance of power. He told us that any imbalance would lead to a desire for more power, which leads to darkness. I know you haven't forgotten. Perhaps... It's you who has been tainted by darkness. And see, that's not uh, thinking things darkness? through either. Then what about you, Envy? You spy on us and report everything you see back to Ira. You really think you have no darkness in your heart after what you did? Because that is my role. To observe us, yes. But not to disclose everything we say and do to Ira. That's... For all we know, you and Ira could be allies, scheming behind our backs. That's enough. Not spoken allies, but it, I mean... Mm. I guess that's where the conversation ended. You know, nothing more interesting after that. When will it stop? I don't want us to turn against each other. Master Alva. Hello, Ephemer. Are you here oh, to lift the spirits? Hello. Your name is Ephemer, right? Uh-huh. Uh, hey, can I join you? Uh-huh. Kid, you're out of your league. Why the long face? This Did one's called happen? Friends in Our Heart, right? This song? Hmm. Long day. Do you remember what you asked me before? about why the unions compete against each other instead of working together. Actually, I always wondered the same thing. Huh? Isn't it just because the Master said so? Yes. And as such, we must obey. The Master said so. So it is. Lately... Yeah, just do whatever he says. I started to wonder. You once told me that you were looking for answers. That you wanted to solve the mysteries of this world. Well, I think that's how things should be. We need to question things and think for ourselves. Whoa! You are really not yourself today. I guess even foretellers have their off days. Hey, maybe talking about the book will cheer you up. Not a chance. Aww. Hmm. You were trying to pull a fast one on me, weren't you? Oh, no, no, I was joking. Oh yeah, super fast if one that one so. was. But, to be honest, I think it would be great if all the unions could work together and be friends. You know, I made a friend from another union today. I wasn't much of a talker, maybe just shy. We're meeting again tomorrow. 
That sounds like so much fun. Then you'd better go home and get some sleep. Okay. It's like five in the morning. Well, it was nice talking to you. Or maybe in the evening, but either way, it's down. not that late. But please cheer up. Thank you. Actually, it's probably five in the morning all the time here, because it's fucking Worst daybreak happens. town. It's the opposite of Twilight Town. I'm glad to leave the future to the kids who see the world in the way that you do. Let the wind carry you far, far away. My dandelions. Yay! Okay, so guys, this is where I uh, realized that my recording uh, stopped. So. Uh, with that in mind, everything from here on out is actually going to be blind. Like, I literally won't see a thing. Um, but uh, we're actually going to do that in the next episode. But what do you care? The next episode is right there. So, I guess, see you next time, guys. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, the George 64 iest hypocrite you will ever meet. Uh, but we're not gaming today. No, no, we're watching episode two of Key Back Cover, the Kingdom Hearts edition. And uh, uh, this time around, I haven't seen any of this stuff. So I cannot see at all. Continue. Ah, uh, Ira, I don't think you'll find the page. It's not going to be there. Envy. Have you learned something? Are you going to s tell on them again? It seems Ased and Gula's unions are now allies. <laughs> you sure are. So Ased is the traitor after all. No! No. I don't believe he is. Why is that? To Ased, unification is a means of gathering strength to oppose the darkness. So I believe his heart still belongs to the light. And yet you accuse him of so, being forming dark. alliances was strictly forbidden by the master. And he's always right. Yes. And his teachings are absolute. That's right. That's why I will try and persuade Gula to dissolve their alliance. Then I'll do it. No. Please, let me do the talking. Yes. I Your mean... Your intervention will do nothing more than spur Ased's anger. All right. I'll leave it to you. And it... one more thing. Ased has begun to question the two of us. As a precaution, my reports will be less frequent. I don't want him to get the wrong idea. Please understand. Yes, I do. What if she's lying to you? What if, what if she's the traitor? Her and Ased are plotting against you. That's what it is. They have the missing page. You can't trust anyone. <laughs> All right, a few months later. Whoa, I don't think Envy's idea worked. I think I'm done. No don't more alliance. <laughs> the alliance. I think it's time to call it quits. For what reason? To put it simply, I entered this alliance thinking we were preparing to fight some impending darkness, but it hasn't come. In fact. There haven't been any suspicious incidents recently, and you haven't rallied anyone else to your cause. Yeah, but... <sighs> this alliance is meaningless. Even Envy agrees. Oh. Envy? Uh-oh. You weren't supposed to find out. Is Envy the one who told you to break our alliance? Uh, maybe... Are you kidding I'm me? I'm the one who decided to do it. And I've already told you why. But we don't even know who the traitor is yet! You said yourself that there might not even be one. And that's exactly why. I just can't trust anyone but myself. Don't you realize you won't stand a chance against the darkness on your own? Sorry, my mind's made up. You know what Ira should have done? He should have brought up everything, the missing and page and everything. 
You will regret this. Oh, good. Oh, good, I said. You always, you know, just because you had, uh, you had, uh, you know, the right thoughts initially doesn't mean that you're not completely rash. The case of a said. All right, master, give him his role. Been here long? I bet. No. So, what did you want? Uh, you didn't forget, did you? You're the one who called me here. <laughs> Lighten up! I was just kidding. I didn't forget. Give me a little credit here. Guy was just testing you. Uh-huh. Uh, right. Now then, allow me to tell you about your role. You're going to be Ira's right-hand man. What? Ira's right-hand man? What do you mean? Well, Ira's gonna be the new leader after I'm gone, you see? So, just stand by. Don't disappoint. You're doing your Explain job terribly, to me, too. What do you mean, Ira's going to be leader? What? Is that disappointment I hear? Did you want to be leader? No! I mean, if you had asked me to be the leader, that's a different story, but I wasn't trying. You really want to be leader, huh? I... well... I know you want it, but that just isn't enough. Any chump can say, You, here's a huge promotion, good job, and make your head honcho. But enthusiasm alone doesn't make a great leader. Ira needs someone like you to give him a push in the right direction. I agree. Ira is definitely the most worthy among us. I'm sure he'll make a fine leader. <laughs> then it's settled. Wait, I agree that he is worthy. But why do we need a new leader, Master? Does, does that mean you will no longer be teaching us? Well, I might disappear one day. But... Well... I might disappear. Disappear? Why? Where? Speak up sooner if you're listening. It was embarrassing for me. Anyway, I don't know if I'm gonna disappear or not. It's anyone's guess right now. But... In any case, you need to support Ira. We both know he's quite serious. He's always just thinking and thinking and thinking behind that unicorn mask of his. So everyone will be counting on you to spur him into action. Uh, right. You might not be entirely happy with your role, but just know that it's the most important one. Capiche? Hmm? Uh, shall I elaborate? Making Yira the leader is all good in theory, but sometime later you might think, eh, he's terrible at this, in which case it'll be your job to step up. Who knows? Your leadership might be just what everyone needs. And that is your true role. That, okay. Okay, master, hold on a second. May your heart be your guiding key. Best of luck, I said. Okay, mm he's definitely pitting it's people against people. It's been over a year people. since the master left. It's time for me to fulfill my true role. <laughs> Oh, good. What a nice true role of yours. I would say this isn't what the Master had in mind, but you know, it probably is what the Master had in mind. Why do you get in my way? Don't be so conceited. I'm protecting the balance, just like the master told us to. The you need to come to apart. your senses. If we don't do something, light will expire. Then we won't be able to avoid the grim future that awaits. We need to defy the master's teachings to protect the world. Aw, uh, he's You're crying. You're saying he was wrong? He's not here anymore. I won't let his prophecy come true. 
I won't let the world fall into darkness! You fool! So Ascent is more Earth-based, and Envy is more water-based. <laughs> Cheer the and Ava. Ava! Over here! Envy! Ascent! What's going on? I found out who the traitor is. Regrettably. No, that's not true! <sighs> Ava, there's no time to lose. May my heart be my guiding key. What are you doing, Ira? Yeah, that's a uh, quite a bit of destruction when you know four Keyblade Masters are going at it. So Gula has the missing page. He was the one who was told to study the, uh... Study the, uh, thing. You know what I mean. Case of Gula. There it is. Master. Um... Master? Oh, I see. If you're busy, I can always come back later. Sure. No, oh, no, 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 stay! Now, where... Ah. Here it is. What's this? Go on, read it. Wow, well, that didn't this take is long. From the Book of Prophecies. <laughs> okay. But yep, it's a page that's not in any of your books. And what's written here is. You're wrong. You must find the traitor hidden among you, and stop them before it's too late. So, and in order to he help already you find knew the about traitor, the traitor. I get it. That's why you gave us all different roles, isn't it? If anyone deviates from the job they were given, we can easily conclude that they are the traitor. It's brilliant. But I said hasn't deviated. Please steal my thunder, show off. Huh? It's not fair. My plan was supposed to blow your mind with its grandeur. Your jaw should have hit the floor at my sheer genius. I'm sorry? But was my logic flawed? Oh, you were right. So, I guess now you've earned your time in the limelight. Even though there is a traitor, act normal and keep focused. Trust no one but yourself. <laughs> so does he actually believe that I said is the traitor? Trust no one but myself. Is this where he's being kept? He's not even chained up! Gula...
Interesting that they're doing uh, sweat drops and whatnot. The books we were given are incomplete. There's a lost page. Lost page? On that page, it is written that there is a traitor. The master told me to find and stop that person. I called you my comrade, but never again, Gula. It doesn't matter to me if you think I am the traitor and you want to strike me down. You knew there was a traitor and you just watched silently as we fought each other. And I won't forgive you for that. You can barely stay on your feet. Just give up already! Don't you underestimate me! So how did he lose? Did it have to come to this? Because the master is pitting you against each other. He wants the war to start. That's what he wants. <laughs> By telling them that they couldn't stop it, it made them want to stop it even more. Finish me off and make it quick. That's not what brought me here today. I wish to fulfill the role bestowed upon me. That's all. It isn't our place to try to change the events of the future. That is not our mission. We're here to make sure that light lives on. With only five lights, we can't afford to lose any. You still count me as one of the five lights? Of course. <laughs> only you could be such a good guy after everything we've been through. Why do I feel like there's a backstab hey, about to happen? I guess that's one of the reasons I respect you so much. However... We still might only be four. <laughs> I'm talking about Gula. He's using the knowledge of something called the Lost Page. <laughs> he said that it contains events that are missing from all of our books. He's using it to discover and apprehend whoever is the traitor. Claims that's his role. But who knows what his real intentions are? <laughs> what I do know is that I'll never forgive him for hiding the fact that he knew someone would betray us. That's the biggest betrayal of all. I'd like to believe that Gula was simply carrying out his role. I said, I'll deal with this matter. Please keep it to yourself for now. Yes, because as we know, Understood. secrets just are what makes everyone trust each other. I need to see that lost page. Hmm, it's always so painful seeing Why did all of you this tell happen. Kira? It had to be you, because you were the only one who knew where we were hiding. Didn't you think for a second that your actions could be making things worse than they already are? And why should that even bother you? Not only do you have your union, but you've also gathered the finest Keyblade wielders from other unions, and you're training them in a secret location, aren't you? Yes, because that is my role! I had no idea. 
I apologize. I overstepped. No. I shouldn't have snapped at you either. I feel bad for Gula, because he was like, want. just, he's just carrying out his role. <laughs> I don't know exactly. He just asked me to give up Gula. His eyes, they were scary. I was worried he'd do something awful. I knew I couldn't tell him where Gula was. Then he turned around and walked away. I see. And Gula? How is he doing? I don't know. He's gone. He's not behind that wall, is he? <laughs> what are you doing, Chirithi? Take care of him. Is this a flashback, or did she lie about not knowing where Gula went? Yeah, it looks like uh, this is a flashback. Ira? It's funny how we never see any of the Union members walking around. Is Except for Ephemer, of course. I know Gula's here. What? Tell me where he is. But why? What are you going to do? None of your concern. <laughs> is Ava the only one who doesn't know about the last Don't. page now? What? I won't let you near him. So that's it. All right. I'll go. <gasps> she wasn't running back to him, was she? Great job. Gola, what are you doing? Something happened? Do you not have the Ira cure spell or something? He wanted me to give you up. I knew it. It's finally come to this. Come to what? Everyone wants to know about the lost page. The lost page? Yeah. It's a page the Master gave me. It doesn't exist in any of our books. It contains a passage about an inevitable betrayal. It talks about... The one who bears the sigil. The recusant sigil? That's it. So... Well, that was a weird transition. Why did it do that? <laughs> My role is to find out who it is. I suspected a said and went to confront him. And look what happened. Why are you telling me this, Gula? I have enough to think about keeping with the Master's teachings and my role. Always walking the straight and narrow. I'm a fool for basing my actions on what is written on that lost page. Everything in the passage is ambiguous at best. That's why. I need to find out. But how? By asking the Master. But he's not here anymore. I'm going to summon Kingdom Hearts. What? What? Then he'll have no choice but to come back. Summoning Kingdom Hearts is forbidden! That's exactly why! The only way to get him back is to break the rules. If things don't change, the entire world is doomed. But, in order to go through with it, I'll need Lux. I don't have nearly enough. You know, enough. this movie didn't explain what Lux is. You always do the right thing. Help me with this. Maybe we should consult everybody. I'm sorry. I know you want the Master to return. But you don't know how summoning Kingdom Hearts will affect the rest of the world. Yeah, it could cause a Keyblade War. The Master... He forbid it for a reason. What if the Master isn't I'm evil? I, I mean... 
There's seven of them, right? Including Lushu? That would be seven warriors of light, right? Are there 13 darknesses we don't know about? But no, that was just a keyblade. It broke into pieces. May your heart be your guiding key. Oh, did it, dearie, dear. Ghoul is on a mission to collect Lux. Ah. Oh, that explains why Ased and Ira are as well. They're trying to maintain the balance. But that isn't the balance we were expected to keep. If everyone's collecting light solely for themselves, Keyblade wielders will soon turn against one another. Which will lead yep. to the Keyblade War. And what's written in the book, all of it will happen. This is why like prophecies suck. Envy, what are you going to do? I'll gather Lux too. No matter what, the balance must Did be kept. Did you not just hear what you said yourself? Ava, you do the same. We must delay the inevitable. Mm. Right. Your dandelions are the only hope, Ava. The case of Ava. This is what we're doing, right? Where is it gonna be? Where are the words? Where are the words? Case of Ava. They've gotta be here somewhere. Yep, look at them dandelions. Uh. Uh? Okay, here's the case of Ava. Rightio. Come now, I know it's here somewhere. Where are the- There it is! Case of Ava. And next will be Case of Lushu, I'm sure. What's written in the last page of the book is gonna happen. The entire world will be lost to darkness. But Master, isn't there anything we can do? Well, that's what brings me to your role. You might just be the only hope of keeping light from expiring. Master, what is it that you need me to do? Oh. Don't get involved in any battles. Forget the notion of unions. Find Keyblade wielders with potential and create an entirely separate organization. Then, like the seeds of a dandelion, let them fly to another world. They will keep the light alive. You really think that I'm the right person for this? Ava, you're the only person for this. I understand. <laughs> Today you're here to continue with your training for our mission. This session may seem like it's familiar to you. Where's Ephemer and Skull? In a world that is different, one made of dreams. You are our hope. And you all have blue eyes. A war will Every one soon of you. wage. Only Keyblade wielders Those can have who blue eyes. To protect the light will turn their weapons on their or allies. Or red eyes. Depending. For the sake of loyalty to their own unions. To be honest, I don't know how far I can guide all of you. Well, not red eyes, but amber eyes. But you eyes. must remember is that anyone can lose themselves to the darkness. That guy is However, wearing Riku's clothes. There will Kingdom be Hearts no 1 winners. Riku. Everything will be lost. Except all of you who are the seeds of hope. When the time comes and there is war, you mustn't fight, but instead you must fly away from here to the world outside. This training is to help you fulfill this crucial task. The future is in all your hands. 
Yeah! As is the world's light. May your hearts be your guiding key. Cool. Ephemer and Skull just weren't in that group at all. And the case of Lushu. Wow, the case of Ava didn't last long at all, did it? All right, well, this is, I think, a, uh, a good place to stop uh, at the beginning of the case of Lushu. So, I suppose until next time, we will find out what happens. So, see you then. Ooh, guys, I just got an idea of mine. What if the master and Master Xehanort are kind of like two sides of the same coin. They both want to create the Keyblade and unlock Kingdom Hearts to figure out the mysteries of it. But what if, like, whereas Master Xehanort is kind of more on the side of darkness, he's one of the warriors of darkness, what if, um, what if the Master here is one of the warriors of light, but they still want the same thing? Again, just an idea. It still doesn't really mesh with the fact that the Keyblade was apparently supposed to be this one thing that broke into 20 pieces, but maybe it's always just been pieces that need to be brought together. Seven light, 13 darkness. And, uh, you know, then you get it improper versions where, you know, it's 100% um, light against 100% darkness. Anyway, um... You know, just an idea I had, but regardless of that, the case of Lushu! Oh, by the way, this is Georgia64, aka the hypocritical uh, gamer. It's not what it's called. Oh, what then? Gazing eye, hmm. huh? Actually, no name. No name. Well, gazing or not, that Keyblade does have an eye in it. My eye, to be exact. What? Ew! Oh, you think that's gross, do ya? Yeah, yeah, a little no. bit. Yeah, sure. Man, this, anyway, this piano is role. crazy right now. You Jesus need to pass Christ. Down that keyblade to your apprentice and then him to his so that my eye can see the future. Oh, so God. The prophecies. Bingo. The fact that it exists is proof of your success. Uh, that means you trained Jesus. a worthy apprentice, passed down that handsome keyblade, and fulfilled your role. Congratulations! S What's the matter? So can you see all the way Come to on. Master Xehanort? You did a fantastic job. At least smile a little. Oh man, this piano is driving me crazy. Anything yet? Oh, it is. Good point. Guess you'd better get started then. Unfortunately, you'll have to go alone from here on out. No book of prophecies to keep you company either. I can't have you causing any temporal paradoxes. But hey. We both know you'll do just fine without it, right? Why, Lushu? Do I really have to go alone? What about the others? Minor details, so don't sweat it. For now, you, that Keyblade, and this box need to stay out of sight. Just watch with your own eyes, and my eye, of course, as things unfold between the others. Then, when the time is right, Go off and do your thing. What's in it? It's a secret. And, well, you see, <laughs> the thing is, you can never, ever open it. Great, now I really want to know. <laughs> All right, I'll indulge you. But this secret stays between the two of us, and you have to promise never to open the box. I promise. He's gonna open the box. Oh, you bastards. Oh, boy. But why? Is it the Keyblade? Is that in there? You'll see. Yep. What is your plan, Master? Is what Lushu should ask. Oh, dear. This is where... This is, uh... Where the Keyblade graveyard is going to be. That is messed up. <laughs> that is so messed up. May my heart be my guiding key. Does he have an eye patch like Bragg? Wait, what? What? No way. What? <laughs> 
Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, God. I don't... That was... That wasn't even in... That, that was just a little over an hour. Max Middleman. I said Travis Willingham. Okay. Uh, Kevin Quinn. I'm trying to... All right. I didn't recognize any of the... Uh, any of the uh, uh, voice acting names, so my bad. I thought it said sounded familiar, but I I don't recognize his name. But I, I, that doesn't mean I don't know other things he's been in. But anyway, oh jeez, great job, guys! Real great job, all of you. Lead facial animator, not bad. You especially didn't have to worry too much about the eyes, did you? But God, that. It was that short? And everyone at Visual Works. God, I just... I mean, obviously there's gonna be something at the end, but... Man, are we gonna have little documents to unlock? Cause, I mean, guys, this is... Uh, this recording has been five minutes long so far. I might need a little bit... Might need a little bit more time to do things. Well, they also have time to talk about uh, the Union Cross uh, episodes because that's a lot of stuff to talk about. Quite honestly, the biggest reveal is the truth about No Name, the Keyblade No Name. Because, uh, I mean, Jesus Christ, <laughs> the Master's I So that's how the Book of Prophecies work. All right. So that's, you know... Master Xehanort told her what happened to the Book of Prophecies. And it only went as far as, you know, the Keyblade War, so it didn't go any further than that. Why? Or was the Keyblade War that they thought they were heading toward, like, the Keyblade War in the Book of Prophecies, actually the coming Keyblade War that Master Xehanort's trying to start? Oh, I don't know. I just don't know. Oh, it's this song. I can't remember the name of it, but this is the one that uh, played when we fought Roxas in Kingdom Hearts 2. Oh, I love... Senior Counsel. Counsel! Associate Counsel! Manager Senior Paralegal! Alright, anyway. Uh, anyway, my point is I love that par part of uh, the game. Great. Pro probably the best crafted scene in Kingdom Hearts 2. You know, along with the fight. It was a very fun fight. Roxas is a uh, very fun. Of course, I still got people upset about me by using Sonic Blade too much, but I don't care. Just like I don't care that I use Balloon Road too much in the anti-black coat, uh, really more than just the anti-black coat nightmare fight. I use Balloon Road all the time in all of the fights, and I don't feel bad about it. Not even a bit. Anyway, uh... Ah, uh, jeez. I really expected there to be more. I expected us to at least get to the Keyblade War instead of, you know, just, oh, they're gonna gather light now. But Ava is going to also have the uh, Dandelions, which are going to become the children in Kyrie's grandmother's story. Who is Kyrie's grandmother's? Do you think Kyrie's grandmother is Ava? Or maybe Skulled? Yep, I just... I just don't know. I don't... I don't know. And I want to. And I won't know until Kingdom Hearts 3, and that's gonna be a while. But, at least to tide myself, I will have 0.2 back cover. No, 0.2 a fragmentary passage. Not back cover, this is back cover. Alright, finally the credits are ending. Not to say that I don't appreciate everybody who is involved in this. Thank you, guys. Or I guess... Arigato? Minna? Anyway, uh, is there a scene? There has to be one. Every single time. Unlocked theater, okay. Unlocked characters, okay. Oh, boy. All right, well, let's check it out. Is there anything new? Heart and key. Ending. Well, let's turn on ending just to make sure. Okay. All right, return to chapters menu. That is it, huh? That is all it is. 
Oh dear me. All right, we'll get out of here. Characters. The Master of Masters, a mysterious man who possesses an eye that can see into the future. He uses that knowledge to write the Book of Prophecies. No one knows whether his mischievous nature is calculated or true. Or both. His dis he disappears after bestowing five of his six apprentices with a copy of the book. One of the Master's disciples who receives a copy of the Book of Prophecies. He is a reliable Keyblade Master and leader of the Unicorn Union Unicornus. The Master often makes fun of his serious nature. His role is to become the new leader of the Foretellers after the Master vanishes. One of the Master's disciples who receives a copy of the Book of Prophecies. She is a virtuous Keyblade Master and leader of the Union Anguis. She holds the Master in high esteem. Her role is to watch over the others with a fair eye. One of the Master's disciples who receives a little, little, little. He is a fearless Keyblade Master and leader of the Union Ursus. Though he tends to rely on his physical prowess, he has a pure heart and strong sense of justice to support the leader. Ava. Despite being a Keyblade Master, she is often treated as a friend by other wielders due to her age. She is the leader of the Union Vulpes. Oh, is she a lot younger than the others? I didn't know. Her role is to find exceptional Keyblade wielders regardless of Union and create her own organization. And... He is a cool-headed Keyblade Master and leader of the Union Leopardus, or Leopardus. He prefers to keep his distance from the others and doesn't regard them as comrades. That is because his resolve is to solve the mysteries of the Book of Prophecies, meaning to find the traitor. That's why he didn't re regard anyone as comrades, except for maybe Ava. The only one of the Master's disciples who does not receive a copy of the Book of Prophecies, he is bestowed with the Keyblade and a black box before setting out on his journey. Chirithi, created by the Master to serve the Keyblade wielders, they originally exist as helpful spirits. If their wielder becomes lost in darkness, however, they turn black and become nightmares. Yep. We never did find out who uh, the dark Chirithi belonged to. Maybe it was the Master's Chirithi. A young and outgoing Keyblade wielder, he questions the way the world works and decides to solve its mysteries on his own. And Dandelions. Of a special union for exceptional Keyblade wielders. Yep. No Scald, however. And that is it. That is it. That is all of back cover. I don't even think I got a trophy for any of this. Oh, man. Just... All right, well... I guess we can talk about, uh, you know, how all of this ties in with everything. So let's discuss the Union Cross uh, episodes then. Because... Uh, those are like were crazy. Basically, uh, spoilers if nobody knows about Union Cross, uh, the Union Cross episodes. So go watch those yourself, and then come back to listen if you want. But anyway, Union Cross, uh, the episodes in there, pretty much Ava sets up five leaders to be uh, uh, five leaders for the Dandelions. You know, it kind of sounds, and it was the master who uh, put her to do this, who, who put that up to her to say, find five people to lead him. It sounds like just another way to start another Keyblade War. However, the masters are Ephemer and Skuld, some dude named Blaine, and then a big surprise is another, another one of the leaders is Ventus, who, you know, it's just, that just blows my mind because... How does that work? I guess... I mean... How old is Ventus? What is up with him? You know, because how long how long ago did this happen? Was Lushu, Ericus, and Xehanort's master? Or were there a, hu a huge line of masters after them? Um, something else that happened at the end of uh, Kingdom Hearts Key, not Union Cross, is the fact that Malefic we saw Maleficent come around and she it, it was like implied that she had, she found the Book of Prophecies, you know. So that's another thing. And if she found the Book of Prophecies, you know, it, it, it was just, it's just really weird. Anyway, but we're not talking about that. Uh, anyway, and then the fifth year was someone named, I believe it was like Stiletzia or something like that. It, it, it was a complicated name that I didn't, I, I haven't remembered yet. I'm sure I'll remember eventually, but surprise, surprise, she was killed. Like she was attacked and it, it's revealed because once all five gathered together at the Keyblade graveyard, uh, cause, so this is after the Keyblade war, by the way, 
So once all five gather together, the fifth person who shows up is none other than Lariam, who is undoubtedly Marluxia's somebody. So Marluxia is a Keyblade wielder? And if so, how did, I mean, cause how did Xemnas find him? You know, what's up with him? What's up with Lux or Demix and Larkseen? We don't know anything about them either. But, oh, this is so weird. It's just, it blows my mind. Uh, anyway, so, I guess we'll just have to wait until Kingdom Hearts 3, or maybe games after Kingdom Hearts 3, because as we all know, I'm sure, Kingdom Hearts 3 is not gonna be the end of it. There's gonna be more. The Kingdom Hearts 3 is just the end of what is known as the Dark Seeker Saga. <sighs> so, I can't, I can't wait to find out what happens. Well, I can wait, and I will wait to find out what happens next. And I'm looking forward to it. I really am. Kingdom Hearts, you know, its gameplay is fun. Its lore is really interesting. I love it. I just, I love this series. It's so much fun. I'm, I'm glad I got into it. So, I guess uh, I will see you guys uh, in 0.2, A Fragmentary Passage. So... Until next time, this has been Georgia64, aka The Hypocritical Gamer. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time!